Evening, everyone. Um, yeah, really proud to be standing up here at the start of the 2020 season. Uh, I know if you're in this room tonight uh, that you're about to embark on uh, the season with us. And uh, I know Andrew uh, touched on all those, uh, all the people that are involved. And, and as I said, if you're standing here, you're one of us. Uh, and we look forward to, to your support for the season 2020. Uh, to give you a bit of an understanding about uh, uh, the season, obviously, there's the past, the present, and the future. Uh, the past uh, is just that. We're really proud of it. Um, right back to the beginnings, we know uh, who we represent, we know what's in the jersey, we know the colours, uh, and we understand that. Uh, and that's right up, right from 1908, uh, right up until 2019. Um, we're really proud of what, what's happened uh, in, those, in that jersey, and we continue to try and represent that. Uh, the present for us started in uh, November. Um, for some of these guys, they were still playing rep footy. Uh, for others, uh, they started pre-season training. Uh, so some of those guys that you saw play on Saturday night started uh, mid-November. Uh, they started to get the, 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 the hard work, uh, the, the DNA that we talked about into the jersey, they started in mid-November. Uh, we had a squad of around about 20 players. Uh, that uh, started to train, uh, started to lift, uh, and started to, to work on, on uh, what, it is, what it means to be a rooster. So we, we do do the physical training. A lot of people will talk about that. Uh, but there is the mental training around uh, how do you uh, apply the principles that, you, uh, that we apply day in, day out, that builds trust in each other and allows you to stand next to each other and feel, uh, feel as one. Uh, but then there's also the freedom that comes with how do you express your personality uh, on the field at the same time. So the balance of those two things uh, go in uh, to the training of our players and I really uh, want to commend the staff uh, on starting that in November and uh, we've got the best staff in the NRL. Um, our vision about being not only the best staff in rugby league but also in the country in sport, uh, we, we keep trying to... Uh, uh, search for that, keep trying to improve ourselves, and we believe that, and that, that keeps pushing us every day. And then we had the rep guys that came back in, uh, in, in uh, well, sorry, a part of that, the first day they turned up, we went to Queenstown, uh, which was part of that hard work. Uh, for some uh, coaches, it was much harder work than, than what we'd remembered a couple of years before, but uh, it's about giving the guys an understanding about what it means uh, to get uncomfortable, uh, but then do it together. So that was the Queenstown camp. We went through to Christmas. Uh, the rep players came back in January. And that's when the whole team starts to form. Uh, you get the senior players, uh, you get the younger players, and then you start to form your style of play. So with the World Club Challenge, we only have sort of five to six weeks to get that done. Um, we actually... Uh, tweaked some things that we actually didn't think we did quite as well last year. Um, uh, even though we know the season that we had, we thought we could improve them still. Uh, we still spent a lot of time analysing that. And that went to uh, getting the players prepared. Obviously, Boyd Cordner doesn't play. Um, uh, other players come in at different points. And then we leave to go to the World Club Challenge to play on Saturday night. And then along the way, we want to offer our players, which we do at the Roosters, a life experience. So there would have been some good photos that you may have seen coming out of Barcelona and, uh, and Manchester and different sporting events. But if you're going to be a rooster, we want you to be a good man and a good person. Uh, so along the way, we try and offer experiences that, that allow growth. Um, not so long ago, cultural experiences were, were, were had in different forms in rugby league. We, we wanted to offer some... Um, yeah, some major uh, attractions in uh, around Gaudi and, and, and the Sagrada Familia and some, I mean, that changed the culture of Barcelona and, and the city and how it's viewed. And some players are seeing that for the first time. They'll all experience it in different ways. They won't always experience it the same way uh, that someone else will, but that's a part of uh, offering experiences without uh, dictating uh, the end point. We, we want to offer it up. Um, and the players embraced that. We got to train on the Olympic Stadium. Uh, we got to train against the Catalans. 
uh, and then we go to Manchester and get focused on a, on a game. Now, if you saw that game, uh, I was very proud of the way that they played. I thought the guys were well prepared, uh, but it's hard when you don't go in with a trial. So what you ask for is to uh, go and play against an opposition that have played five games, and then you want us to perform in a certain way, which represents the jersey again. And our players, 17 players, go out there and deliver uh, in, a, in a foundation way about the way that we want to play, the way that we want to run, the way that we want to support, uh, the way that we want to defend. And they deliver, and they deliver, and they deliver every minute uh, for 80 minutes. It was one of those games that... Uh, um, it's one of the, the proudest games that I've been involved in as a rooster because um, you can see the character of the players during that event. Um, there's lots of opportunities just to say, look, it's my first game, I'm a long way from home, it's been a big trip and it's just, I'm, I'm just going to switch off for this moment. And they don't, they keep going uh, and they could have kept going and more and more and more and that's the character that we want to see in the, in, in the rooster's jersey. Um, so I said it after the game, I, I was really proud, I'm really honoured to coach this team. I know the staff feel the same way, when we ask them to do something they deliver. So therefore we get back, uh, we've got the trial this weekend um, and that's the start of our season. The future, uh, that's for acting, it's not for talking. Uh, so I'll leave that uh, for you to see uh, over the next few months leading uh, into the season, uh, through the middle and towards the back end. But um, yeah, I'm not going to talk about that, I'll let our actions do the talking, but it's been a great start. Um, so I'd like to... Uh, thank you uh, for being here tonight. Uh, I know uh, the importance that you play uh, and let's get ready to go again in 2020. So I'd, all, I'd like to uh, welcome uh, Mark Fennessy to the stage for quite an important announcement uh, on behalf of... Uh, uh, of the board uh, and the, the, the football club. Thanks, Mark.